Because everybody enjoys the badass Mighty Morphin Power Rangers theme. Jay says the best all around, that's usually the best way to go for when you try to speed run this game. And the timer is off, and here we go! When you face off against the screen putties, yes, the uh, jump kick is the best way to go for go against them. And if you're up close, just throwing them will do wonders for you. Like any good beat-em-up, a great strategy for this game. Basically, try to get everybody on one side, but if they go down one hit like these putties do, just jump kick them and get them out of the way quick. J M N I N. Um, I'll try to figure out how to pronounce his name. Just mowing through all these putties. Once he gets further along in the level, he'll be able to more. And this would be the case. He sees the boss, he morphs, gets his health back, and now he's ready to do the business. Now we have these birds dropping bombs, you want to avoid those, but he's played this game a lot before he knows what he's doing. I think the reason why he picked Chase is because that sword is one of the best for long range attacks. And there's proof right there that putties really don't know how to drive. And thankfully the car is intact. Screen cleared, and it's off to the boss. I kind of wish I could remember the names of all the uh, bosses from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I used to play this game a lot, I loved it. I used to watch the show when I was a kid. This 
second part of this boss, it's he gains a lot more agility, so jump kicks and jump slashes are going to be your uh, bread and butter here for this one. And the bomb at the end seals the deal, and he's uh, past the first round. Little little behind his schedule, but still a really great performance for that first level. All the levels are long here at uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers here on SNES Superstars. Be sure to give LJMNIN a follow. He surely deserves it for playing this game. Actually, anytime you see a streamer here, give them a follow. They deserve your support. Follow the hard work that they've been done practicing these games. And as you see, he switched up to Zack. Especially for level 2, a lot more uh, speed needed for this one, and Zack is one of the speediest ones. with the right shields are one of the worst spots because they take so many hits and plus you're dealing with all these barrels in this level it is really challenging so right there you can't really go to the corners and do the classic uh, beat em up trick of just hiding everybody off screen because then a barrel will come underneath you and you can't kick the barrels uh, to blow up So he's got to stay somewhere around the center so you can at least see where the barrels are coming. Zach is uh, practicing what I'm calling breakdance foo. Zach it's more time, gets his health back, and we're good to go. And thankfully, since he's at the end of this part of the level, he doesn't have to deal with any more barrels. He can apply that tried and true tactic, get them all off screen, and just uh, beat him good. He does have to watch out for the scenery. I don't know. I've never seen any factory that applies, you know, spike conveyors on the floor, saws when you're not doing any carpentry or anything like that. But I guess it's Rita and she really wants the Rangers gone. Got falling flame wreckage, but thankfully they're only in two specific stage sections, so it makes it a lot easier. Now you have to deal with more riot squad buddies with their shields.
people might be confused to say that you might have to beat all the buddies on the floor. You don't. It's basically get to the top. And that is a great way to advance in this level, using the cross jump by bouncing off the walls. And that is a great strategy getting rid of that annoyance up top. Here's where it gets tough. He's got to deal with a flaming floor that's going to billow up smoke. Uneven floors and the putties and the purple ones are usually the most dangerous, aside from the Riot Squad ones. Fortunately, you can't do the jump off that wall. Fast enough to avoid the Morning Star fallen chain putties. Because those can be extremely dangerous. They can zap away a lot of your health, and if your health gets too low, you'll revert back to normal mode, and that'll just make the boss a whole lot harder. But thankfully, there's a med kick near the end, and he is ready to tackle the boss. He's one of these teleporting ones. Thankfully, he's got Zack. He'll be quick enough to deal enough damage to him. trying to get his health down enough to where he could do the bomb. There it is. One more big rake attack like that, and unfortunately he will be uh, transferred back to Zack. The boss is not cooperating. <laughs> Like in Power Rangers fashion, the boss explodes, and he has cleared this stage. Stage 3 decides to go with Trini here, mainly because she's got one of the best jumps in the game, so she could easily avoid the uh, electrical wreckage that is flow flowing through the sewer. I mean, why does Angel Grove have so many electrical parts just flowing through the sewer? I mean, I never understood it. Forget the monster problem, somebody call a plumber. Or get their sanitation crew up to speed.
And there's the classic uh, beat em up strategy, played in the full effect right there. Get everybody bunched up and just whack away. Not much to avoid in this level once you get past the electrical records. I guess except for the uh, drill bots up top, but once they uh, fall down, you're good to go. Oh, it's the Iron Monster. Gotta avoid all of the uh, pitfalls here. In this level, you just gotta go, go, go. And then we get to a swimming level. Well, not really swimming, you gotta stay down there so you don't take too much unnecessary damage. jump here and got to be careful of all of the traps. Don't know how long that shield is going to last though. It looks like it's going to last long enough to get through the end of that section. This level kind of begs the question, how can the putties breathe underwater? But thankfully, at the water's lowest, you can just stay still and avoid the uh, putties' attacks. Flying great strategy here for that section, just staying at the, staying at that top section, and just uh, down attack them. He's got to avoid all the saws, all the rotors, and he's doing that just fine.
Here he is at the end. Just gotta get up to that small part, and he's ready to fight the evil eye boss. I do believe. Basically got a bob and weave. Don't worry about the eye blast, he's gonna do the bomb right here. Will that be enough to defeat him? Maybe a couple more hits will do it. And that will do it. Got level 4 of Billy. Nice swanky hotel Angel Grove has downtown. Look at the animation. Billy looks so worried why he's even punching or kicking something. And that's great strategy used by LJ M I M N I N or LJ Minin? Minin? Uh, LJ Minin. Or Min. Throwing. Trying to throw the putties into the uh, laser beam and destroying it that way. Yellow sling there up there, the throws aren't going to do much good there. Keeps on pressing on, and he's almost at the point where he can morph. playing good wonders for Billy here in LJ Min. And that's the morph he needed. Gotta dodge all of the blasts, all of the uh, electrical pieces, everything. 
He doesn't have that much health left. Even though it might look like he's got almost full health, it's really not much because, as you've seen, the putties now deal a lot more damage. Grabs that health kit, which he sorely needs. And that is a great play right there. Wall doing these wall jumps. Ooh, he missed it there. It's gonna cost a little bit of time, but there he goes. Ooh, and he takes a death right there. I think he just mistimed that jump. Destroys that blaster. I was gonna cause some problems if he didn't. There's the health pickup that he needs. And expend his bomb right there, which is good strategy. Get rid of that mid boss. Boss time is employing the same tactics that the second boss did. But this one requires a lot more artful dodging. But looks like he's got him down here. And there he goes! At 29.12. And now it's time for Kimberly. Oh, 
lot more time. Get under that uh, estimated 40 minutes. health that Kimberly needs. Avoid all the knife throwing putties that are coming our way, especially in this level. Just getting, and then just getting waylaid here. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get everybody on one side. They were just spamming knife throws and everything like that. That's the return of the barrels. Uh, LJ Min can find a health pack. level is not cooperating. And that is really gonna set him back. Looks like he was almost at the end of the level, but the monsters were not cooperating.
that laser bot up there that's giving those problems where you have to bob and weave through them, not getting much room to do that. There's the health pack. Just plowing through this right now, just trying to get to the end. That's playing some good strategy right there, hugging that corner. Trying to avoid that laser turret. Since that laser was coming. lgmin has got about 90 seconds. Can they defeat this boss? It's going to be close. Only about a minute left. The tension is mounting. And there's the bomb. Phew. 
the last fight, the Megazord versus... Mega Fight with Goldar. Unfortunately, the 80% did not... is below the estimated time of 40 minutes. But it's still a great, great effort by LJ... by LJ Min. that dash tech really well. It's almost got this beast down. That one dash tag did it. Look how close. LJ Min was to almost not being able to pull this off. But here it comes, the last fight. I do believe this is the last fight. that last hit in he does oh it's the second form forgot about the second form after this fight we will get LJ men in here hopefully Gonna be close. Oh. He does have that continue. said it before but make sure to give LJ Min a follow after this uh, run is done twitch.tv slash LJ MNIN and while you're at it also give me a follow at Sigma Fan just spamming those shots which do take out a lot of health
a great shot castle there, which pretty much saved LJ Min. He's almost got it. There it is. And one final dash slash should do it. 4601. A really great run of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Give them all the GGs you got, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Let's see if we can get them in here. As the Power Rangers are all celebrating. That break dances to victory. We got a great game for you next. We got wild guns coming up next. Co op, any percent hard mode. It is going to be a blast. Figuratively and literally, I might add. I know I've already said it before, but give LJ Min a follow. He did a really, really good job with this run. As Zach dances way to victory. Telling the corner, even Bulk and Skull are impressed. Alright, the game has ended, so I am off for now. We'll see you in a few minutes for some good old wild guns. Take care, everyone. <laughs>